Is he at? He's right there. Oh, well, I'm Dream Boys now. <laughs> Anyways, so we got a super exciting matchup of Kirby and Pac Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and suddenly, Trident's just been launched off of the setup. Here we go. J Job versus Pac Street. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have two balls of death going at it right now on screen. Two balls of death. One that has fruits, the other one that has demon powers. Yep. I wonder <laughs> if absorbing Pac-Man's ideal in this scenario. I wonder if Jay just labbed it out. He's labbed out weird things. So oh, of that. course. When you play goofy characters, you kind of have to lab out everything. Yoink, That's what it. you look like when you... <laughs> <laughs> That's so lame. <laughs> he just gets eyebrows. He's just pink Pac-Man. Your bigger feet oh, and, and shorter a big legs. Nose. Yeah, and a big, big nose. Goofy looking nose. <laughs> <laughs> my man's the nose man. He's going at it. The nose man. Oh, oh my nose. gosh, that Maybe you gotta stop playing with these fruits because it's not working out for him. My man is. But speaking mm. of fruits, Kirby also had fruits. He prepped oh. a key of all of the key. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. His fruits are not going well. <laughs> this is gonna be such a crazy final match to qualify for top eight. There we go, the back air though, trading off. The bell going to any other character is so scary though. Pac-Man a character that can kind of lack in kill power, so the bell is kind of necessary for him to secure them. And Kirby. also, I know it works in melee Ooh. a certain way. Ooh! I know it works in melee a certain way that Kirby's copy abilities are stronger. Oh, are they really? Yes. I wonder if oh my gosh, for that down air going deep dive for it. It's Pac-Man is safe, yep. but even though willing to go all the way down there, it's impressive as ever. I feel like Pac-Man is a good character to go edge guarding as. You just have such an incredible recovery. You can make it back from pretty much anywhere on the stage. Very true. It's very hard to reverse for the character, too. Okay. He's decking him right now. <laughs> doof, doof, doof. He's swinging. Here we go, though. JJ. Keeping this footing, though. <laughs> what are you doing? He's just nailing, oh, bro. no! Oh! If that character was any lighter, it would have been over. Yes, yeah, true. Pac-Man blessing his weight. It's also kind of crazy. J. Jaw is approaching. Ooh, that back air. Good masking from I mean, yeah, the hydrant. You are totally right. He is duking it out right now. He is letting no reprieve for Pac-Man. <laughs> he wants to blitz this one. <laughs> Speed run. He's like, oh, you're Pac Street? I don't know if that's JDV, though. <laughs> this, yep, this is not JDV. No disrespect to either players, of course, but I imagine J. Jaw's confidence skyrocketed. I saw Pac-Man and immediately saw thought J JDV, but uh, <laughs> Pac Street definitely a very strong player in their own right. Yeah, Pac Street on the run, by the yeah. way. This is for ninth. Yeah, if they this lose? is crazy. If they take this, it's top eight. That's so impressive at this tournament, specifically so stacked. That's very true. But J. Jaw's a very hard opponent. Duking right, it out with uh, Kirby oftentimes leads to just bruises. Both Care going for apples, by the way. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my gosh, the Galaga not exchanging the way he wanted to. Yeah, not quite. Oh, good response, honestly. Yeah, just the being last. Able to, the getaway option is probably better than not. I don't know if Kirby, other than uh, pretty committal options, has any way to break the Hydrant immediately. So, kind of resorting to F Smash, which is, you know, pretty punishable. Especially because of the uh, hitbox extension from the Hydrant. Can we talk about that exchange, by the way, that Pac Street just did on that shield? Mm -hmm. From orange to hitting the uh, Hydrant to yeah. pushing him and then finally getting a bear. Granted, he didn't get the stock, but that was a really good little exchange. Definitely. Very clever. There we go with the back air. The melon. Oh, my Ooh, gosh. Don't get hit by the melon. Oh, he got scared. Yeah, he got feared out of it. Yeah. This is Pac Street's time to shine, honestly. That melon was very smart. Covered a lot of option meant that JJ couldn't just recover normally because he would have died. He died either and way. And that's an up wow. smash. Wow. That looked like an up smash. The late hit smash. up smash. That's 1 0. JJ just looking like, eh, yeah, yep. all right. <laughs> no, no one has out of shield. No one has win conditions. Big chilling with it. Big chilling. Big chilling. Oh, wow. I didn't realize Pac Street beating Captain L, White Nova, and Despa all to make it here. Yeah, you're right. Captain uh, Pac Street is on a run tonight. That's impressive. Very but notable now wins. You have a very interesting wall ahead of you. <laughs> Jay Jaw plays unlike anyone else, too. He very much has his own defined style. He is the de facto Kirby. Talk about top player reps. He's pretty much the only player rep for this character. Actually, though. There are a couple extra representatives, but I don't think anyone has made such a presence such as J. They don't play like J. do. 
They don't dance like Jay. They don't dance like Jay. If, they, if there ain't no Miggy, that shit ain't Disney. <laughs> and here we go. Into game two. Smashville. I wonder Absolutely. why are they on this stage? Why on this stage? I'm actually very curious to the the reasonings. I was gonna say the science. <laughs> I'm really curious to the science behind I, I this. I wonder what the science behind this pick was. <laughs> okay. Playing very aggressively off stage. Oh my stage gosh, and just fighting every single aerial option. Yeah. But here we go, Pack Street taking a stock or a percent lead. Kirby will take that trade all day just because he knows you don't have a lot of jumps. He oh, can yeah, go. Absolutely. Whoa, okay, that's how that works. <laughs> oh, that's how that works. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Oh, there we go. Oh, only getting a forward air out of it. I like the style that Pack Street's playing right now. Very aggressive. I'm loving that hitbox extension. Yeah. Um, Very smart from Zheja to kind of use that Hydra to his, uh, his advantage. Oh my gosh, he's dancing oh around him geez. on the ground, eating up his 28%. Now 38. Going for drill because he wants to be funny. <laughs> you can't tell me you see a Kirby do the Oh no, he's like, definitely, oh, he's trying to tap dance he's on trying to be goofy. I mean, his parents gave him salsa lessons and my man is showing off right now. <laughs> Boop. Oh, that was disgusting, by the way. That up air yeah. planking or trading. Okay, be careful of the bell. That was very he smart way to use the, the nair. Yeah, the nair to use as an extension is insane. Zizou uses that down beat very well, too, to kind of get out of really bad situations. Or to edge guard. Wow, I'm almost surprised that that bell did not connect with mm -hmm. Kirby on the, uh, plat on the ledge, but here we are now. Pack Street finally in evening things out. Mm -hmm. Can't let the stock lead go too quickly. Zheja is a killer. Don't let the tiny pink ball fool you. He is a killer. He's a bad, bad man. He's a bad man. He's a bad, bad man. This bad man's going for the shield, though. Zheja is just playing so in Pack Street's face. He's using his jumps really well, too. Just kind of able to, oh, dude. Yeah, that's an up air. Oh, you didn't think I was coming out there? Nah. All right, back to neutral. He's just chilling underneath the, the platform. The great mediator killer. <laughs> <laughs> there can't be a hydrant if I just inhale it. The way uh, Zheja... Oh, my God. He's oh. using the corner like he's in a boxing match. Down tilting him. Oh hitting him with the God. hydrant. Uh, he's predicting. Oh, but he predicts wrong as he goes high instead of low. Oh, oh my gosh. Using the <laughs> hydrant star. That's crazy. Who is this dude? That's Zheja, baby. That's the Zheja experience. I, the way Zheja plays, I feel like, makes him really adaptable. Very true. He's so willing to do clowny stuff that he's ready for any sort of weird matchup. Oh my gosh, barely getting out of that tech scenario. And now he's back oh, in wow. the lead with the up throw. Such a good tech Leaf chase. Hurricane. Rock Lee out here. The Rock Lee Big of Oregon. Lee. His Taijutsu is his goofiness. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, this is now up 2-0, JJ. The only person in the venue, by the way, to have their own name on their t-shirt. On their t-shirt, on their mask, on their pants. Every Probably my, on shoes, too. My face, JJ dripped out right now. JJ, <laughs> JJ on that JJ fit. That's hey, premium. That, That's you Balenci. You got that new JJ merch? Yeah, you got that new JJ, though? I, I, I cannot wait for him to start plugging his own merchandise, dude. Yeah. That was good, too. JJ has fans. He's uh, speed running this Pac-Man right now. I got to say. Uh-oh. A pro controller enters the ring. Oh, Dom. Dom, what the heck? Okay. We're going into game three. See if JJ can keep up the pressure or if Pac Street can. Oh. Okay, so this is a stage that I definitely agree with in the matchup. Oh, absolutely. Kirby is not a fast character. <laughs> <laughs> he just hooked that apple straight down. 45 degree angle. Come get oh me. Oh, my gosh. The patience from JJ just to say, okay, I can wait, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to continue. I'm going to wait a little bit, and then I'm going to continue. JJ really gets the most out of all his interactions. Yeah, I know. He's getting mileage right now. Here we go, though. The down tilt, the miss grab off the spot dodge. Yep. Boosh. Oh. That back air is so devious, by the way. It is. 
smart on uh, Pack Street to just kind of recover high, getting out of the situation ASAP, not letting any sort of stall, any sort of waiting out happen. Just I'm back on stage. Maybe I took a little bit of damage, but I'm back on stage. Better damage than dead. Oh, he was in position for that. And there he is. There's that up B, though. Melon coming clutch. Oh my gosh, just a charge up smash that way. What a way. read. So disrespectful. <laughs> yes. Pack Street, Pack Street respected it too. Yeah, no. This, Here it is the way. Like, that's not even to his detriment. He's just shook. Yeah. <laughs> How can you not be when all these things, all these interactions are happening? Shades of Pikachu there. He's getting that little pancake when he uh, Absolutely. ends his up smash. Wow, not expecting to have that hydrant land the way it did. And here we go, the dash attack catching that roll option. J. John now playing out here. He shields. Oh my gosh. Patrick barely survives that change. Yeah. But that up he's gonna catch him. Doosh. And the Hydra coming in at the exact time to break. Jaja feels like he knows how to play this matchup. Like it feels like oh, he's yeah. using the hydrant. He played online. Y yeah, he did play online. Jaja, Jaja was a Wi-Fi <laughs> warrior. Jaja. 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 Jaja is absolutely akin to the Pac-Man matchup. Yep. And I can guarantee you, Pac Street probably is not. Not a top level Kirby. Yeah, not a Kirby this menacing. Yeah. I mean, Jaja kills you. Oh, Town of City? Jaja kills you. Had that been any other stage, that would have been GG's no handshake. Okay. Oh, good F tilt to yeah. finally take out Jaja's first stop. Scramble situation coming out on top for Pack Street. Oh, good pressure with the melon, but because the melon kind of forced Kirby to go low, and once Jaja's low, he's just going to want the grab. Yeah. There's that F tilt. He's trying to inhale. <laughs> okay, keeping him at the platform. How do you get out of here if you're Pack Street? You need to find a route back to center stage. Yeah, but right now, J. Jaws placing himself perfectly yep. to just literally beeline this entire area. Yeah, he's controlling the vertical space so well. Funny enough, he's kind of playing like a Ken Shoryu from like Street Yeah, Fighter. no, it totally is. Like literally We're playing the arc to a T. Yeah, he's keeping him in the corner, threatening jumps, just kind of keeping him out there. Oh my gosh, and somehow traverse that entire exchange with a key active on deck. This is how you play against zoners too. Like uh, you just keep them in a corner and make them feel really uncomfortable to throw out any sort of risky options. Yeah, make them Boosh. go for risky angles. And right now you're seeing JJ get uh, rewarded for it. JJ recognizing that Pack Street was trying to go for the center stage, so he called out that roll with the back air in it. It's a oh good, gosh. good kill move. We have JJ prepping another combo. Yo. Oh, he tried to stress test Pack Street, but Pack Street just narrowly gets out over Remus input. Yeah. There's the shield, gets out of the shield, immediately hit by the F tilt. JJ. JJ's dancing. JJ's cooking. Okay. Oh my gosh, excuse me, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Here we go though, JJ. Finding finding his yeah. way back on the stage. Patrick finally playing an advantage state in his favor. A demon has been unleashed somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> I, will, I hope the audio caught that. We heard some some crazy sounds. The most feedback of all feedback. Pack Street. There we go. Catching the uh, catching the orange. Yeah. This is now crazy. Are you taking off? Good to see you, brother. There we go. An up oh, smash wow. not sealing the deal. JJ, I, it's H4 or. Er, oh my God. JJ or bust. JJ or bust. Is he the only truly Oregon rep left in? Jared is king. Jared is king. Yeah, you're right. Oh my oh. gosh. Playing that out. A confident. He's three relentless. Zero. He's relentless. JJ hops off the stage. There's a little bit of excitement to him. Yep. He made it. He, he did made make top it. eight again. He made top eight again. So good. So consistent. It's hard to be consistent with a character like Kirby, too. A character most people kind of treat as. <laughs> it's hard when you. It's the loser's run, man. Yeah, it is the loser's run. Another, JJ, another loser's he's run. He's been proven to be a loser's player, too. Like, I think uh, maybe he thrives. Maybe he feels better. Maybe he takes that one loss to kind of be like. All right, snap back into it. I need to get my maybe, head in the maybe game. Maybe he has that, that mango tier, yeah. like, comeback factor. He play, He's a totally different beast at that point. His eyes just roll back into his head, and all of a sudden, he lets Kirby take control. There is no <laughs> Jaja. There's only Kirby. Only Kirby. And there we have it. That is our top eight lineup. Yeah. Let me reiterate our top eight, because it is from the gauntlet. Only eight people made it. Send, H40S, JDV, Klaatu. Klaatu with a crazy run, yeah, honestly. Yeah, Klaatu really on a tear. Leon, Moxie, Jared is king, and Jaja, Jaja. 
some of those hitters in losers. Leon Moxie, Jared JJ. Which is crazy. Those are all four you would see in grands. Yeah, Leon and Moxie, I feel like, could have been uh, slated to win. Absolutely. Like, they could have been grand finalists. But here we go. Honestly, though, if I had to look at it, my money's on Send. My money's we were watching on Send, send play. Too. We were watching Send perform. He was sweeping them. He is bulldozing Wiping people them up. right now. No, all the confidence in the world right now is on Send. That's where your smart money He's is. He's feeling good. And I think his character is really hard to play against. But honestly, if I had to put some funny money, I think Jared can make a distance. I think Jared could make. I think Jared has a good matchup into a lot of these players. Yeah, Jared versus JJ. I cannot see Shulk being an easy matchup by any means. That sounds so, so, so horrible. That sounds extremely oppressive. I think you're right. I think Jared is king is a good contender. I think... Moxie, if the Moxie momentum stays consistent, we could see a Moxie Grand Finals. Yeah. But oh my gosh, so many people, so many This has been a really good tournament so far. Pretty much no, everyone has come out, this has been an amazing tournament. Performed their best. Um, seen a lot of upsets today. A lot of people who... I feel like weren't slated to make it as far as they did end up going on crazy losers bracket runs. Absolutely. And some people fell short. Yeah. Some names came back, did numbers. But here we are, man. We're hitting the final top phase. Top eight. It's beautiful. The top eight players now doing their photo. Mm-hmm. Doing a little, uh, little family photo up there. Dad doing a little, little where were you, man? <laughs> where, where were you on March 3rd, 5th? What day is it? <laughs> March uh, 5th. March 5th. March 5th, the day Oregon put PNW on the map. Then well, it depends everyone. if Oregon wins. <laughs> no, I think I think the message has been made. I mean, if Send, so like, many visitors. Yeah, that's true. Have not made it past it. Leon and Send are the last two, and Leon starting losers. Like I was saying. Skittles getting knocked out is crazy Skittles to me too. Skittles versus Leon for 13th. Yeah. It feels unheard of. It really does. Now this, this was a moment, honestly. Yeah, I think uh, this whole, again, shout outs to Gabe, shout outs to Timmy, Everest, all these. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have been commentating a shit ton. So I think it's time for yep. us to take off. I've been Chapavelli. I'm Dream Boys. Thank you very much, and you'll have a wonderful night. On to top eight. Testing, testing, testing.